here's an important difference between a data analyst or junior data scientist and a more mid-level or senior data scientist when it comes to experimentation. One of your core responsibilities for designing an experiment, and you will absolutely get asked this question in an interview, is how to do a power analysis or how to determine the sample size necessary or the duration of an experiment in order to get statistically significant results. Now, at the data analyst level, you're probably going to plug in standard characteristics like statistically significant if it's a p-value less than 0.05. You'll just have whatever your control success rate is and maybe your uh, effect size that you believe is sort of the minimum practical effect or the effect size that they think they're going to get from the treatment. And then from there, you're probably going to plug those values into a sample size calculator or use something like a, a normal package in Python and get the required sample size uh, per group like here. But as you get more senior, you're expected to really understand what all those parameters mean, what they do, and how you can adjust them in ways that make sense. For example, in many real world cases, you may be able to be more like less conservative on your alpha value. Basically, there'll be a higher level of uncertainty of a false positive, but you can dramatically reduce the runtime of your experiment. So right now, under these basic assumptions, we would need a sample size of 1,374 uh, observations or individuals or units uh, to be able to detect with statistical significance an effect size of 0.05 off of this baseline with 80% power. But if we talk to our stakeholders and we're willing to take just a little bit more uncertainty of a false positive, the required sample size actually drops by over 20%. So if you're, say, a high ticket sales item and you're not getting a really huge steady flow of customers, like let's say Amazon customers or Google customers, right? That 20% reduction in required sample size could dramatically reduce your, your time that you need for an experiment. 